Miami took a lot longer than expected. How, how's Jason? What's He's been on? arrested. Durant sent a couple of uniforms in to take him in for questioning, and Sonny, he just exploded. He knocked them out so fast they didn't even see it coming. I was standing right there. I didn't see it coming. I, I told you he pulled the gun on me. I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can we skip the funny part? I need to see Jason now. No, no, nobody sees Jason until they get my daughter. If Carly committed Shady Brook, you just made it look that way, right? Well, jig is up. You want access to your boy, Jason. You give me Carly so I can get her the help that she needs. Carly doesn't want your help, Duran. Can't you get that through your head? Well, what, so she's going to be better off with you and you, what, in your perfect little world, which this year is so far what? Had three of your children kidnapped. Your son, traumatized, he's convinced that he killed his real father. Carly just went careening over the edge into a mental breakdown, and now it's wiped out what's left of Jason's little bit of brain matter that he has. You're not the cure, Corinthos. You are the problem. And I'm not going to leave my fragile daughter to your insensitive mercies. No Carly. No Jason. You want to make a deal, you know where to find me. <sighs> I hate that guy. Yeah, who doesn't? You have to give Durant what he wants. No. Jason needs your help, Sonny. If Carly goes to Shady Brook, it will kill her. And what Jason has could kill him, except he would really be dead. And we're not talking about a matter of, of a few lost memories here. The doctors think that Jason's condition is terminal. And without the proper help, he could die. He could have surgery, but it's really risky. Okay. Is surgery the only option? They're trying to avoid it with medication, and I know that I can get Jason to take it. But Durant is keeping me away. You are the only one who can help Sonny. Please take Durant's deal. I am not ready to lose Jason. Are you? I happen to agree with you, you know. Oh. Well, that's a first. How did I rate this rare concession? Sonny and Jason avoid doctors like the plague especially psychiatrists. And I think that if Carly could get the help she needs, that she could get better, just as Jason would. Mm. And how did I know that it would somehow get around to him? Well, Jason is unaccountable for his actions, the same as Carly is, but the only difference is without medication, J Jason may die. I'm sure that Sonny's told you my conditions. Do you honestly think you're going to score points with your daughter by letting Jason die? All I'm asking is for you to let me give Jason the pills that he needs. Such fire. You know, it's too bad it's wasted on Jason. I love him, and I would die for him. Can you say the same about anybody in your entire miserable life? The answer may surprise you. Look, why don't you use some of that passion to convince Sonny to put Carly into my care? And I promise you, I will see to it that Jason gets his medication. Okay. If you're playing with me, if you withhold these pills from Jason and something happens to him, don't turn your back on me. What about Carly? I need to talk to you, Sam. I know what you're going to say, Sam. You want me to give Carly up to Shady Brook? I can't do that, not even for Jason. I don't think you're doing Carly any favors, Sonny. Look, She's I, getting worse, not better. I just need more time to spend with her, okay? And I know I can get her into a better place. You're fooling yourself, Sam. Hey, I know shrinks work for some people. That's, that's fine. But last time Carly was in Shady Brook, she was terrorized, she was drugged. That place is like poison to her. Sonny, there are other facilities I can... No, I can't. I, I, I can pull you're all the same, things. Rick. I can't abandon Carly. She didn't do it to me. I can't do it to her. Jason would agree with me, and you know that. Carly is not the only one who has saved your life. Jason has always been there for you. He has taken bullets for you. He's risked his life for you. And now he's in trouble, the worst I have ever seen. I am not going to give up on him, and I'm certainly not going to let you give up on him either. I'm going to make sure that Jason keeps getting his medication that he needs. Yeah, I appreciate that. Sonny, I want him out of jail. Well, I understand that, but that means you want me to throw a car in jail and throw away the key. I can't do that. Look, jail may be the safest place for Jason right now. How could you possibly say well, that? Well, because... Which one, which one of you called them? Called who? The shadows. Sorry. The men in black, they're coming after me. Uh, no one is out there. Stop lying to me. I, I saw them. They're running and hiding, carrying guns. 
Jason Morgan. Now, I can't blame you for not wanting to remember any of your life. What do you got here? Murder, assault, murder, 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 murder. Are you starting to get the picture? You remember any of this? You're a killing machine, Morgan. You're the Terminator. Bah, 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 bah. Except, you see, there's a new twist. I'm the exterminator. It's my job to squash annoying pests like you. Wipe that smirk off your face, you son of Take Carly upstairs. Thanks. Go. Come go. on. Let's go. Go. You're gonna be safe. Carly. Right, go. 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 Gotta get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. No, you should here. forget it. I'm yeah. staying right here with Listen you. Listen to me. I'm not going anywhere except taking you and Max to the hospital. Okay, I'm gonna go find out if I'm getting Jason out of lockup. He'll figure out what to do. Okay. Put him down, boys. Put him down. Mr. Morgan's had a temporary lapse. Isn't that right, Jason? It's all right. It's all right. You can go. I can handle this. Go on. All right, look. Maybe you... Maybe you got a memory, maybe you don't. But the things in here, the things that you've done, they weren't your idea. The brutal crimes that you committed, they were out of a sense of loyalty to Sonny, and after all, why not? I mean, the man gave you a place to live when you had no place to go. He gave you this life, such as it is. So when he said, jump, you said, how high? How many bullets? How many bodies? You remember Carly? I met her. Yeah, well, she's my daughter. Sonny divorced her and then he, uh, I threw her out on the street like so much garbage. Now she's having a mental breakdown. And Sonny, the control freak that he is, he stashed her away somewhere. So I made Sonny a deal. I said, you give me Carly so I can get her the help she needs, and I give you Jason Morgan. Jason Morgan, in exchange for a woman that you no longer care about. It seemed like a no-brainer to me. No pun intended. You're his best friend, right? You're his number one man. You've always done everything he's ever asked of you, right? So where is he now? Where is Sonny Corinthos when you need him? <laughs> 